using uh, AM, PM. And this came up with the uh, newsletter. Um, AM, PM. There are all sorts of uh, variations there that are acceptable depending on which style guide you go by. But what appears to be the most preferred is the lay, period, the limb, period, as Jen points out. Yeah. And uh, one of the uh, comments that goes with it then, you know, because these are discussion boards, mm -hmm. I, I went on to check it because, you know, she was, <laughs> what about this? Yeah. And uh, one of the reasons that was, was brought forward is that uh, one of the guys in radio says that uh, he's particular about it because uh, they have AM and FM radio stations, and those are capital A, capital M, no periods, mm. uh, and then uh, capital F, capital M, you know, sort of thing. So uh, anyway, there's sometimes methods behind madness. And, mm -hmm. uh, the Associated Press goes with okay, uh, A dot. They, yeah. yeah. I thought they were just AP capitals, but well, uh, they have dots. No, if you're doing AM, PM for uh, time, it's supposed to be lowercase. And you do not need the M. You can just use the, the numeric and then the small letter A or the small letter P. Oh, okay. Or style guides again. Yeah. And if you don't want to use he or she as possessive pronouns, you can now use T, T-E. Really? Which is politically correct in some style guides. Not to be confused with ant in uh, Spanish. No, that, that's T-I. Yeah. Uh -huh. And what is the symbol that we use on the computer? It is an A with a circle around it. What is that? Well, mm -hmm. I was told that, but then somebody else said, no, 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 no. And that was a. Oh, I thought the ampersand was the one that looks like a treble oh. clef. Oh, you might be right. Yeah. Because the A with the circle is each at. Mm -hmm. Each at? Yeah, it was used in accounting. Oh, uh, okay. so they didn't have right. to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Each at. That's right. No. Amazing what you learn sitting around the table. We are, <laughs> we are three or more gathered in his name, so uh, let that just uh, keep keep in mind because he's here and he's watching, listening. Does he approve of A and PM? <laughs> oh, I mean, he might have been a little bit peeved when we uh, switched to CE, Common mm. Era. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got a lot of uh, positive response in the four Methodist churches in Oregon where I talked about the, the 12 disciples, or 13, were really just a bunch of guys sitting around talking about fishing or medicine mm -hmm. or law. That's right. Hey, are they going to kick down the door and crucify us for being Christians? And everybody went, well, geez, I guess they were. But it kind of got all of the religion osity mm -hmm. out of it. Mm -hmm. Right. Because then, you know, Let's bring this down to earth today. Yeah. 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 And I, I, I talked about what color were the 12 apostles? And I Probably said, not white. And I said, most oh, probably so. sunburned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most probably burnt burnt. And really Luke might have been the whitest, meaning the less sunburned. Mm -hmm. And everybody went, well, yeah. But, you know, it, it just takes that PC question and throws it out the window. Mm -hmm. you know, fishermen. Good for you, Lar. Yeah, how many of them were missing fingers or had twisted and bent fingers? Because mm -hmm. they were fishermen. And everybody went, oh, it wasn't yeah. from waving it? Oh, it oh, was. Okay. It was, it was religious religious osity which came in about the 13th century. And they probably smelled like fish. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, and the, I mean, I got such a kick out of it because I picked up stuff here and threw it out, out there. Mm. You know, what, uh, after the rapture, 
will I be a male? Well, uh, uh, well, I won't have a body. Well, yes, you will. Well, no, I won't, because it's a sanctified or ethereal body as God created it, not as we used it. But it was wonderful to, to throw happy. those thoughts out and get everybody going. Be careful, though, because now Paul is the one that tells us there's no male or female. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, and, and After death. Yeah. No slave, no, you know, whatever. Master. Right, we're all... Uh, so... Yeah, I mean, it didn't come directly from Jesus. Uh, yeah. Right. Right. And Paul was the closest thing that, out of the whole group that they really had to a theologian. But he's honest. He says, you know, uh, this is what I think. He doesn't say that this is the word of God or something like that. And it, I don't know if you've traveled to Oregon, but a lot of the religious people in Oregon feel freer, feel more liberal, feel more left-wing because they're in Oregon. And it's beautiful. Tree huggers love and live in Oregon. Dope smokers love and live. Mm -hmm. And along the coast is the upper middle class. Mm -hmm. As you go farther in, you get into the farmers, the not tree huggers, mm -hmm. but lumberjacks, lumber communities, farm communities. And that's a whole different headset. And then you get into the valleys where they cook or grow lots of crops. So it was phenomenal going from one to five, and then back to one. You know, the two main highways, you know, so, mm -hmm. you know, just sitting there listening. Mm -hmm. All Methodists sitting around churches afterwards, having coffee in. And it was, uh, it was fun. It's interesting to go to different parts of the country and listen to conversations and mm -hmm. find out what makes, what, what the differences are. Yeah. Whereas Catholics, which is my comparison, are pretty rigid across the country. Mm -hmm. Chicago, Catholics. Oh. If Chicago is the most liberal in the Midwest, if you could do anything in the church, you could do it in Chicago. Hmm. You know, and, so, and that's where I grew up. But uh, there were some, we will have Latin in this church as long as I'm a priest. Even after the... And I don't care what the cardinal says. But the same church, two services later, we will have the mass done in Polish as long as I'm a priest. I don't care what the Pope says or the cardinal says. And that was old school. Because mm -hmm. that was one of the things they brought from Poland. You know, the mass in Polish. In uh, this country, they said American, English. Polish Catholics said, no, we'll believe what we believe, but we'll believe in Polish. <laughs> uh, after the Vatican <coughs> Council, uh, the altars were to be changed. <coughs> Freiburg, Missouri uh, sued the Vatican. Wow. You're kidding. No. Uh, and the uh, judge uh, the, there uh, threw it out. He said, this is a church matter. It will not be heard here. <laughs> what the uh, the altars had to be moved and changed and the people of the church had to, yeah, well, obviously to put it in and they know whose father, grandfather and that did all of this, that and the other stuff and the uh, huh. judge said no <laughs> <laughs> kind of reminds me of Pontius Pilate <laughs> this is between no. you guys And he's right, though. I mean, it is a church matter. Mm -hmm. I, I think he was right to leave it up to the church. Now, do priests move around the way Methodist ministers get moved around? And much more rigidly. And I Even think they have more the pedophile well. priest <laughs> scandal. It was every seven years. Oh. Mm -hmm. So you didn't get attached mm -hmm. to the community, mm -hmm. which is absolutely backwards. You come in as a new priest, 27, 28 years old. You don't know anything about people. You know about your family. You know about.
about seminary. Yeah. Is you get to know people. As a young man, you grow. Right. And then just when you're growed, mm -hmm. like you got to move 35, on. you got to move somewhere else, which in theory is good for the church. But if I was a priest and you were the woman 10 years older than me, you could really shepherd as I grew as a man mm -hmm. from 27 to 57. Because mm -hmm. I could always talk to you about women's stuff. You move, you change churches, you can't do that. Right. You don't build the same bond. You've got to start all over with those relationships. Yeah. But the same way you could keep me in line. No. Father Joe, you're looking at too many women. Who? Oh, what do you mean? You know what I mean. <laughs> oh, okay. And that's yeah. all it took. But that was the that was the family guidance. Mm -hmm. Like the maiden aunt had say, you know, you're not gonna date Judy, because Judy's not the kind of woman for you. Oh, oh okay. Mm -hmm. And the uh, the uh, a lot of men I knew left the church because of the way the church handled the pedophiles. Oh. They they picked the priest as the victim. Yeah. Because he was an agent of the church. Mm -hmm. Can't have the church looking bad. Oh, and take care of that child. Take, you know, by the way. By the way, take mm -hmm. care of that child. Yeah. Move that child off center stage and don't talk about it. And that was people went crazy. They teach you to love the kids, protect the kids, do anything for the kids, throw yourself in front of power for the kids. Mm -hmm. Don't let the kids stick its finger in the electrical outlet until the priest gets involved. Mm -hmm. oh, wait a minute, the priest can't do anything wrong. Must have been the four year old kid. Yeah. They're that way, you know. Oh, they, and they have the devil in them. <laughs> yeah, and those kinds of things were said, which was crazy. I don't understand it, but then I'm not Catholic. Um. Yeah, it's it's a it's a, a religion religious belief system based on the collar notes, not the Bible notes, because mm -hmm. the collar read the Bible. Mm -hmm. You don't have to read the Bible. The collar read the Bible. Right. Okay. All right, what are we talking about today, We are in David? economic community, and I think I will have time to then uh, read the principles to you, and uh, there will may not be much uh, on that. In the economic community, I'm just going to read the headers first. Uh, property, collective bargaining, work and leisure, consumption, poverty, uh, foreign workers, gambling, family farms, corporate, and then next week we will be doing corporate responsibility, uh, finance, uh, trade and investment, uh, we may touch on, the, the uh, last two are uh, graft and corrupt, corruption, and then public indebtedness. So if these are other topics that you're going to want to pursue on your own, today we are on work and leisure. Uh, hold on, we have economic uh, community ones, because we claim all economic systems to be under the judgment of God no less than other facets of the created order. Therefore, we recognize the responsibility of government to develop and implement sound fiscal and monetary policies that provide for economic life of individuals and corporate entities and ensure, ensure full employment, employment and adequate, adequate income with a minimum of inflation. So that's why we have social principles in this area. Nancy. I'm not saying a word. <laughs> yeah, and it's probably better. No, no come on. I'm just kidding. You here. I know uh, that uh, some of her views are a little more conservative than some of mine. And and, exactly. uh, and when we were on single groups, uh, just the two of us, we had a chance to you know really explore those. And that's the type of thing we need because sometimes you're a little too churchy on some of these things, mm -hmm. and you need a practical because the quadrilateral is it biblical. Is a tra uh, tradition, a reason, and experience. And this reason and experience is the part then that we add to it in these types of discussion because, uh, you know, trying to get the 2,000 year old biblical statements, and some of them as far back as 